Okay, so uh, after yesterday's video of the UASP showing a massive speed boost in Raspberry Pi 4, uh, I wanted to check what USB sticks uh, supported UASP. And uh, so I've had a comment uh, a while ago now, so a month ago now, by Paul Barnett, and uh, he's got a Corsair 128 Flash Voyager GTX 128 gig. Uh, just an ordinary USB stick, well not an ordinary USB stick, an expensive but very flash USB stick. Uh, and these were cheaper, uh, I think there was about 50 odd pounds the other day, about 52 pounds, which is not cheap for a uh, 128 gig USB stick. But the performance is really, really good. So this is the best I've had um, from a USB to SATA cable with a 60 gig SSD so uh, it was a £12.99 SSD and I think it was £7.99 for the cable so for the money incredible performance it's only 60 gig um, but uh, you can see the sequential write speed uh, 225,000 well, nearly 226,000 uh, really good random write speed and really good random read speed but not far behind it is the Corsair now I've tried loads of USB sticks and Generally, they've been really poor. Um, the the overall speeds haven't been good. So I've I over the last couple of days I've been having a look and uh, I've been seeing what USB sticks might give me similar performance but for less money. Uh, and what kept cropping up and I couldn't find any proper speed tests on it uh, was this Arcanite 128 uh, USB 3.1 flash drive up to 400 megabits per second. Uh, and the reviews seem very good, but Obviously, if you've got a USB stick and it holds data a lot of the time, people will probably give it a good review. Uh, it isn't UASP. Uh, I've done the test, uh, and in fact, the, the operating system is running from it now, and it's running fine. Uh, it, you know, it is it is actually pretty good, uh, and it's way better than any USB stick I've got. But in the past, I've always bought cheap USB sticks. If we have a look in here uh, from uh, Jeff Gearling's video, this is uh, mass storage and USB storage. So even though it, it purports to have a fast speed in all the reviews and the write-ups and everything, it's not that fast. So I asked the question to uh, Paul Barnett and he came back super quick, uh, to be fair. Uh, thank you very much for that. Uh, We've had a bit of a conversation about this because I was I was blown away by the speeds from a USB stick. It really is impressive. Uh, so and he also bought his about three years ago, so he's been using it. And so it's not you know it could be even better than that. Uh, and if we go down, so I said I'm interested to know if your oh nice uh, nice grammar if your USB stick has UASP as it's so fast. If possible, could you check by typing and so on. So he checked, and it does. So if we look down here, uh, so mass storage driver UAS. So that's obviously one of the reasons that it is much faster, um, but, uh, but also it's obviously much faster memory as well. But that is really impressive. Uh, and as I say, I was, so I was looking through, a load of sand disks came up and I probably should have ordered one of the sand disks. I really, I wasn't ready to spend sort of 50 quid for a USB stick I don't really need, although it'd be interesting to do a video on it especially as this will be the newer version as well. So I did order an Arcanite and uh, I, I have got it and I'll do a speed test on this and do a comparison because we've got uh, here, we've got the Corsair with the speed test that Paul Barnett sent me a month ago. I've got the fastest speed test I've ever done on the Pi, I think. I've gone back through on my NAS drive, I've got a load of speed tests. Uh, and I've tried to say I need to go through them really. Uh, and I went through and that was the fastest I could find. Uh, so a great combination for the price at just over £20 uh, for the cable and the SSD. And obviously once you've got the cable you can keep adding on. But it's nice to have that small form factor of a USB stick. So let's do this speed test. I think I'll close down the web browser. Because that's probably not fair to leave that up and running. Uh, so accessories, diagnostics run test. So we've got a pass, show log, and and I, I think it's I think it's pretty good speeds. I, I was I, I was hoping for more like the Corsair speeds, which it certainly isn't, but I think it's still pretty good. Arcanite 128 USB. So uh, 
You can see here though, 174,000 versus 29,000. Uh, random write speed way, way slower, and random read speed way, way slower. It, it competes with uh, a lot of SD cards and beats a lot of SD cards. So I was, I was impressed with that, and you know, £24 is not a bad price to pay for 128 gig of storage. Um, so it's, it's held back because it's not UASP, which is a bit of a disappointment. Um, I wonder if I can restore all my tabs. History, three tabs. Nice. So the question is really, have you got a USB stick that uh, weighs A, has UASP, and to find that out, you just need to get a terminal and pop in LSUSB-T, and then you're looking for uh, UAS, UAS in here rather than USB-storage. So if people could let me know, I'd be really interested. But I also then thought, what about card readers? So I bought an integral card reader. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah, I bought one of, uh, oh, it moved. I bought one of these um, because it was USB 3.1. It isn't uh, UAS, so uh, it has a limitation as to how it can go. And I've got a video showing how it was slower than uh, using the SD card slot. Because my theory was, if you've got a really good uh, micro SD reader, it could work faster than the SD card reader on the Pi. Uh, but I haven't found one yet. So if you know of one that is UASP, and also what USB sticks are UASP. So I only know this is because, I, you know, searching through, I couldn't see any that, that came up as UASP, um, but, uh, but the Corsair was. So anyway, hope this all helps, and please post your results in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.